Hi there, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about education. I think you can make a reasonable case that the universities do more harm than good now. Education doesn't live in school. Education has now left schools. It has now left university. Education is something which is misunderstood, if understood at all. And I bet you if you go to your teachers and you ask them, what is education? They won't be able to tell you exactly what education is. Education in schools is to program you. It develops head boys, prefects, monitors to show the other students how you should behave in order to get privilege, in order to get a little badge. That little badge is a symbol or token of good behaviour, exemplary student, someone that's going to get a good report, someone that's going to go to university, somebody that's got something to say. But what is a monitor or a head boy? All they are are people that are obedient to a system. That system is school. But who said that school was a good system, a correct system, a real system? School is not a real system. School is about programming you to program your mind, to program your perception of reality, to program, when you program the perception of reality, that influences your behavior. And when you start to act in a particular way, which is conducive to the society, you therefore get awarded for it. So the training starts at school. Now that doesn't mean that you should be a rebel and misbehave, that's ignorant. What you should do is you should educate yourself. You should start reading, you should start watching videos, you should start researching about things which are really important to yourself, about spiritual things. You should start reading books outside of the culture that you live in. You, if you're from a Western culture, you have the Buddhist books, you have the Tao Te Ching, you have the Bhagavad Gita, you have the Bhagavad Jan, you have many, many different uh, concepts and energies to look at to help make your mind bigger, to open your vision, to understand really what is important in life. The way school works, <clears throat> you come out of school with your badges, you go to university, you go into debt, you then get a job, you then get a family, you then have your children and you pay for them and then you redo the cycle, it's a cyclical problem. During that entire process, you're not supposed to think. You're not supposed to find spirituality. The state has its spirituality, Christianism, if you're in a uh, Western culture. But Christianism is another program. It's a program to train the way that you think. Christianity is a schizophrenic ideology. It's something that says, thou shalt not kill in the Ten Commandments, and then tells people to kill if they are a homosexual. It has a God which is a loving God which kills his people when they don't do what he wants. It's a God that makes his people suffer and plays games with his people with the devil for bets to see if said man, Job, will go towards God or go towards the devil. This God is a demiurge. A demiurge is a false God. It's not a real God. So Christianity is part of the system which goes alongside school. A lot of schools are Christian based and they ask you to say prayers. They ask you to go for meditations. This is just in order to back up the school's programming, the society's programming. They're two separate entities which both work for the same program.